Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are continuing with the Talos Principle. Looks like we've only got one more thing to do here. Still don't know about the stars. Pretty sure I have to play the demo for that. But, uh, yeah. A bit tied up. Okay. What was that glitch sound? Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, good. Whew. Ha ha! Ha ha! Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Alright, what's, uh... Ooh. Didn't see that. Actually... Let's do that. There we go. Oh wait, there's a star here? Achievement unlocked, sigils are not enough. So I have been missing stars, but I haven't seen any until now. I've been missing stars at. What does that red dot with a one by it mean? Oh well. I guess, uh. Huh. Yeah, one of the stars is crossed out now. Where have I been missing stars at? Whoa! That scared me. <laughs> Interesting. Is there something new at this now? Your user profile has now been generated. Huh. I guess that sounds like me. You may already be criticizing your own performance, but it's clear you understand how the world of ideas affects you even if you are sometimes weary with the realities and allow your preferences dictate your beliefs. You have a great deal of unused capacity which you've not turned to your advantage. Disciplined and self-controlled outside, you tend to be worrisome and insecure inside, but you pride yourself as an independent thinker and do not accept others' statements without satisfactory proof. Yeah, that sounds like me.
Ooh. Uh. What is this? Okay. Okay, interesting. Um... Okay. I think we need to get out of here now. Because I don't know where that other star is. And we can always use these signs to figure out what we have and have not found. That's interesting, though. Strange that I haven't actually seen the other stars, though. Because it says there's a star here. And that there's one here. And I only found one of two here. Strange. These worlds, and we within them, are made of words. Hidden words, invisible to you, yet part of all things. We are... a story. Your actions give life to the story, and the story gives meaning to your life. I hear a beeping terminal. Oh, it's right there, duh. Oops, I passed it. Okay. Progress rep one. Report one, probably. Yeah. Hi, y'all. Everything's been moved to the EL facility. I know it's been said to leave the good old Jeff building behind. Sorry. I know it's been sad to leave the good old Jeff building behind, but it makes sense for us to be on site, especially as there may be severe power outages in the coming weeks. Arcade's team has. Yeah. Arcade's team are already working, blah, but you really don't need to worry about the teams getting in each other's way. The facility is genuinely humongous. Let's get this show on the road. Nadia. Mail error. I'll keep this short, you all know me, so you so you know that I know what I'm talking about. I realize that you're all working on projects meant to somehow avert Blah, find a solution. I believe that Blah, preserve the non-biological components of Blah. Blah, not in terms of Blah, 20 immediately. You, sorry, why did I say 20? That's part of the Blah. Anyway, immediately. You'll find the details of my proposal in the attachment, but the short version is blah, global undertaking blah. As I've said, I know those hex codes probably translate to actual text that I could read, but I'm just too lazy to translate that. Strachan of Stagira on beginnings. Ugh. I don't know how to say so- there's so many words that I just don't know how to pronounce. It is the grave error of many philosophers, not only of the Athenian schools, but also of many others, that they begin not with observation of the cosmos as it surrounds us, but with a conclusion already in mind. And often that conclusion is that the world was created ideal, and mankind itself the greatest creation of the gods. Yet neither the world nor the gods owe mankind perfection. It is arrogance itself to presume so, and contrary to all the methods of philosophy. The honest philosopher seeks only the truth, even if it bears no comfort, and he must begin by assuming, as Socrates did, that all he knows is that he knows nothing, except that truth begins with a capital T. Apparently. Uh, I think that's it for this terminal. Okay, so it says there's a star here, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to find it or not. Oh, these symbols! I bet these are laser puzzles! I've been looking forward to the laser puzzles. 
Deathwish 808 probably would not enjoy the laser puzzles, though. How is my climbing ability? Huh, actually kinda decent. I'm afraid to fall down there, because I think I'd have a hard time getting back up. Unless the X key works out here. Let's see, does it? Okay, so it does. I can just reset if I get somewhere that I get stuck or whatever. That's nice to know. Behold, I am Elohim, and I speak unto the darkness. Be gone. Excess data cleared. Okay. <laughs> you just showing off? Cause... That just seems like a show-off thing to do. Man, it's like taunting me with puzzles that I could have had. Whoa! Did not expect to be able to make that jump quite like that. Huh. That's interesting. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Uh, I guess that was the end of the recording. When did I activate that? Okay, well... Uh... Wait, what does this sign down here say? Is there only three sigils? Right? No, there's... there's four. What happened... What happened to make it... three? That's... strange. Where would the fourth one be? Alright, alright, I'll get to a puzzle, I promise. Push it further. Why is that symbol blinking red? Just to let me know that it's a new thing? Okay, that looks like a generator for one. Ah, oh, here we go. Wait, you must unlock... That's why it's blinking red. How do I unlock it, though? able to do any of the puzzles here just because I haven't unlocked the thing for the puzzle? That's weird, if so. No, that's also blinking red. Also blinking red. Blinking red. This female voice that speaks from the abnormalities, it speaks with a different tone to the other wretches in this place. Female? I don't think I've heard a female voice yet. Unlock it? What does this do? The answer that came to me again and again 
was play. Oh, this female voice. Every human society in recorded history has games. We don't just solve problems out of necessity. We do it for fun. Even as adults. Leave a human being alone with a knotted rope, and they will unravel it. Leave a human being alone with blocks, and they will build something. Games are part of what makes us human. We see the world as a mystery, a puzzle, because we've always been a species of problem solvers. Okay. Uh, yeah, I do remember hearing her voice now, I just forgot. I thought it was gonna be like another heavenly voice, like El Elohim, however you say his name. Uh, can I actually... Is it possible to... to go here? Oh yeah, I can, it's just a level of details low because I'm far away. What actually happens if I fall down on here? And how do I unlock... the, um... the laser things? Oh, I almost fell off there. down here? Okay. I... Either there's fall damage, or I'm just not allowed to go out there. Yep, I'm not allowed to go there, I guess. Well... I genuinely do not know what to do to unlock the laser things. symbols on it. Cubes. This one's not labeled. This one labeled. This one's boarded up. There are mysteries in my garden. Hidden roads and secret gates. If you dedicate yourself to understanding them, you may join the host of messengers. How to unlock the lasers? I guess I just have to go to one of these other buildings. Okay, well, in the next episode, we'll go to a different building and see if we can figure out how to unlock the lasers or something. Uh, as always, if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and thanks for watching! I will see you all next time. Goodbye!